Reducing costs and simplifying our lives are the two main drivers of technology development. If they are combined and the technology is simple and accessible, it can definitely change the way we approach the routine operations we do on a daily basis. One of these simultaneously simple and practically ingenious solutions was the invention of the QR code. Its creation began with the barcode, which was developed in one form or another since the mid-20th century to simplify warehouse operations and convenient accounting of goods. The barcode as we know it appeared in the 1970s. In 1974, the first pack of Wrigley chewing gum was sold, which is now in an exhibit in the Museum of American History. However, especially brave fans of innovations, this was not enough. And in 1994, the Japanese company producing auto parts Denzo Wave has invented the QR or Quick Response Code, which has had several advantages compared to the traditional barcode. QR code makes it possible to encrypt more information. Because of its two-dimensionality, each QR code can contain 7,089 digits, 4,296 letters, and 1,817 hieroglyphs. Today, they encrypt almost any information, from links to the site on billboards and information about geo-positioning to the encryption of test results and even details of payment. The encrypted information does not contain human-readable characters. This makes it possible to protect confidential information from prying eyes, because the code can only be read by software devices. Ease of creation and use. Absolutely any user having access to the internet by means of any application for creation and scanning of QR codes can use QR codes for their own purposes. All codes have a standard appearance with a matrix of black squares inside and three frame squares, whereby the more filled the matrix, the more information is encrypted in the code. Today, there are many variants of QR codes. For example, in the browser Chrome Canary, not so long ago appeared the possibility to encrypt any link in the form of a QR code with a dinosaur in the center. This experimental feature was invented to share any links, no matter what device you have at hand, because all you need is a camera. Also, a QR code can be used on any digital device or on a paper carrier. It can be almost any size, which can save space on the package or any other surface. It can be recognized by means of any smartphone with a camera and application for scanning. QR payments today is one of the most successful and rapidly developing areas of the payment system, which many analysts in the field of technology and finance predict a bright future. First, let's look at the mechanism of how it works. For online and offline sales, the scheme is virtually the same. The seller generates a code that he places on the purchase page of his site or on any screen near the cash register. There are several variants of the codes when using payments. The first involves the seller encrypting his payment details. As a result, the buyer scanning this code on his smartphone has to enter the amount of the purchase himself and only then confirm the payment. In the second case, with each purchase, the seller automatically generates a unique code when scanning which the purchase amount is already determined and the buyer only needs to confirm the payment. The simplicity of this method is strikingly obvious. Indeed, where were all the global payment and acquiring giants when they created their multi-million dollar companies and invented expensive and complex payment systems? QR code versus traditional payment systems. Even today, we say that the infrastructure of traditional payment systems is significantly inferior to QR payments, at least because it removes unnecessary intermediaries from the seller-buyer chain. The seller and the buyer now only need to have an open bank account to transfer funds. Today, businesses have to spend unimaginable amounts of money on payment terminals that support the reading of payment data with the help of NFC chips embedded in the buyer's card. When using QR payments, it is enough to print out a sticker with a code and stick it next to the cash register to serve customers. Besides, a business not having to spend money on acquiring services, which as a result can lead to the decrease of the cost of services and goods. Traditional payment systems should focus on implementation of QR technologies and reduction of commissions. From the spread of QR payments will benefit primarily the owners of small and medium-sized businesses as they receive less favorable conditions for acquiring than large networks. Risks of QR payments. Of course, any technology associated with payments has its own security risks, and there will always be people who want to find a flaw in it and certainly take advantage of it. The first risk, which has been largely eliminated today, is the risk of swapping vendor codes for fraudulent ones, as a result of which a payment can slip out of the buyer's wallet to an unknown destination. Today, several methods have been developed to solve this problem. For example, the British payment regulator 
is introduce mandatory push notifications with the merchant for information for all QR purchases since the summer of 2020. Only after the buyer confirms the transaction will the money be deducted from the account. WeChat and Alipay in China, as well as acquirers in other countries, are developing new ways to protect QR code users. The company Alipay stated that it has a technology which determines whether a QR code is generated in its own system and sends a message allowing users to define whether the payment continues or the operation is doubtful. The South African company 40RT also launched the world's first dynamic QR code, which helps avoid fraudulent payments. A patented algorithm ensures the unique user's IDs are stored securely in the code, making it impossible for fraudsters to duplicate them. At the same time, the strong and weak point of QR codes is that they are not readable for humans. In order to decipher the message of the code, we need to scan it. But in this case, we completely trust its content, which, in turn, can install malware on your smartphone. Back in 2012, an information security expert, Ravishankar Borganakar, demonstrated the devastating effect of a simple QR code, in which the code for resetting a Samsung smartphone to factory settings was encrypted, which led to the complete formatting of the device. In 2013, the specialists of the Lookout Mobile Company have developed QR codes, which were able to crack Google Glass glasses. Initially, according to the idea of the creators of the device, it should scan for any information in the environment, which can be useful to the user. However, when the glasses scanned the code of the intruders, they got full access to the device. Fortunately, no one had time to take advantage of this development, and Google fixed this problem with the glasses software within a few weeks. Otherwise, it could have jeopardized the entire technology. Also, don't forget that QR codes can intercept personal information while scanning the code, and hackers can hack into the mobile devices to steal account information. Distribution of QR codes but despite all the problems connected with the introduction of QR payments, their development today moves by leaps and bounds. The payment system with the help of QR codes implies an open and democratic way to manage business and payment methods. For example, this way cryptocurrencies can easily be integrated into payment systems. QR payments have developed a lot, not only in our usual stores, but also in e-commerce and even in messengers. It is thanks to messengers and the development of e-commerce in China or that QR payments have been widespread in the multi-purpose application WeChat and the payment application Alipay. According to App Annie, excluding social networking apps, Alipay and WeChat today are among the most popular apps that actively use QR codes. Today, 15 million small businesses accept payments using Alipay QR code in China. In India, 9 million merchants use Paytm eWallet, which processes QR payments. In many European and African countries, QR codes are printed on electricity bills, which greatly simplifies their payment. A separate round in the spread of QR payments took place in 2020 against the backdrop of the pandemic. These payments have come in handy in the context of the global pandemic and social distancing. Many restaurants and other service industries began to place QR codes with menus or lists of services at a distance from the cash register. Coming, for example, to a fast food cafe now, there's no need to communicate with a salesperson or a cashier, getting in a queue and being in contact with people. Now it's enough to scan QR codes from the menu, make an order, pay for it online, and just pick it up observing all quarantine measures. The pandemic in the United States alone, 52% of restaurants have switched to menus with QR codes, and there are over 1 million restaurants in the United States. It is also interesting that there are different habits and preferences of users while using QR payments in different countries. According to Jason Timms, the vice president of MasterCard for Market Products Management, the key variants of usage differ depending on the market. Consumers in India often use QR codes to pay when delivering online orders, while consumers in Vietnam use QR codes to pay for cabs. Consumers in India use QR codes to pay their bills because it makes it possible to pay quickly and without leaving home. Another key impact of QR codes may lie in their impact on NFC payments. To use Apple Pay and Google Pay, merchants usually need to install a contactless card reader or upgrade their terminal to accept NFC payments. Financial market players may have to rethink their payment strategy in light of the development of QR payments, and cell phone manufacturers may have to think about what to do with NFC if the use of QR code will begin to take over the market. The use of QR payments is increasing rapidly every year. From Alipay to Walmart to Amazon, all companies are trying to simplify payments. 
PayPay, a QR-based payment system launched by 197 Communication with the support of SoftBank and Yahoo Japan, was able to attract 15 million customers within 10 months after its launch. The largest payment companies using QR codes in North America are Apple Pay, PayPal, and Amazon Pay. American giants such as Walmart, Starbucks, Decathlon use QR codes for payments and loyalty accounts. Experts estimate that use of global QR payments will grow just under $1.3 trillion annually by 2022. Before the pandemic, about 13% of consumers in the U.S. used QR codes on their smartphones. Since the pandemic began, another 11% have used the technology. Moreover, 34% of those who had already used the payment technology reported that they used it in more actively since the start of the quarantine. The advantages of the QR code go far beyond the simple possibility to accept more ways of payment. This technology provides data-based personalization, which according to experts, can really improve the interaction with the client. Using the information about the users received while using the QR code, the seller can automatically adapt the offers for the client and involve the consumers with the help of the personalized offers and messages, which can be embedded into the QR code. The higher the engagement, the more you encourage consumers to come in and spend. Raymond Pucci, Director of Sales at Mercator Advisory Group, explained in an interview. He noted that their clients are already reaping the benefits of improving the rewards program through better use of new technology. No matter what happens, QR codes open up opportunities for more payments in the remotest corners of the world. In turn, banks, as well as other participants of the financial market, need to promptly review their strategies to take full advantage of this rapidly developing payment alternative.